Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today we're going to cover some news that got released in the uh, game this morning. So, if you guys are new to this channel, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from your boy. So, without further ado, let's jump into the news. Uh, we got some old stuff coming back. But the real, really, really cool part is this one right here. So, we're going to be able to have half energy. So, enjoy half energy cost. For Chamber of the Fallen, Chamber of the Indignant, and Chamber of Arms during the event period. So this is really cool. So basically, guys, if you guys are still far back in uh, the bosses, the Chamber of Arms, or like they're saying, Chamber of Fallen and Chamber of the Indignant, Indignant. If you guys haven't done some of the bosses, you guys can do them now for half the energy. This is really good because I have to, uh, I have to keep up, guys. I'm uh, really far back into these battles, but uh, maybe we'll do a stream. Where we can actually fight these little, little man. So, this is for the F energy. This one's actually really, really cool. Then, we're going to be able to get a fight. I know it's still zoomed in, guys. It hasn't been fixed, but bear with me. So, uh, the formidable angels will become available on uh, Friday after... Uh, not Friday after maintenance. I mean, Friday, you guys will be able to fight this big machine right here. And uh, we're going to be able to break him down real fast. So bring units that can weaken all of his parameters. Kupo, prepare yourself against physical attacks. Kupo, be ready to remove the paralysis ailment. Kupo, so shouldn't be too much of a hard fight. So complete the quest, we get the black box, which is uh, pretty interesting. Then uh, no items, we get uh, 10,000 raid coins. Defeat the angels within 10 turns. You get two rare seven tickets. And party of five or less. We haven't seen this one in a long time. So this, this for real, it's pretty cool. Because we haven't seen this in a long time. So it's going to feel good to see this again. So party of five or less. We get a 5% Moogle. Which is really, really, uh, really, really good. And you can help. You can have the help of uh, these characters right here. And let's be honest. These two right here. They got super, super strong since they're seven star. So they're going to make that fight a little bit easier. But it's up to you to choose the units that you want to fight this big robot machine so make sure you bring your machine killers to do extra damage against it so we're gonna keep going then we're gonna have an event that's coming back basically final fantasy type zero event dun dungeon academia is coming back uh i was looking around to make sure that anybody who did this before so maybe almost a year ago or a little bit more than a year ago if uh you're gonna be able to uh Get the stuff from the King Mog, and uh, they're not writing anything about uh, the rewards not being reset. So hopefully the rewards are going to be reset for everybody, and uh, everybody's going to be able to farm a little bit right here. So this is going to start on Friday, uh, November 30th, and it's going to go till Thursday, uh, December 13th. So right here, we're going to be able to get one rare summon ticket when you clear the beginner's quest. The intermediate quest, you get Phantoma 200, so Phantoma is going to be the currency for the King Mog. Advanced 300, Pro 500, Elite, we get 500 Lapis, which is always super good, especially after that near banner. I think a lot of us is uh, low on Lapis, so it's going to feel good to get some of that 500 Lapis in uh, our bank. So this is the stuff that you're going to be able to get from the King Mog, but mostly we're going to go for tickets. Uh, maybe some uh, trust moogles and stuff like that. So if you guys never did this, uh, you'll be able to get the unusual artifact, attack 15, defense 15, HP 5%. This thing was actually really, really good when uh, this first came out. Uh, still pretty good for newer players, so if you guys just started the game or stuff like that, uh, the equipment in this event are going to be really, really good. So rune trigger, attack 52, MP 15%. Survival edge, uh, really, really nice. I remember... Cecil back then this was his favorite sword because that extra 10% in HP was really really good The attack 32 is not that that bad, but the HP 10% is actually pretty pretty cool Then you're gonna be able to get some special material for some character right here You guys get cut cards damage all enemies and chance of stopping one enemy uh, This is for ace only Insult to injury, damage and chance of paralyzing one enemy, that's for 7 only. Let's be honest, these characters right here, you're not going to use this anymore. Uh, actually, Accelerate could be good. Basically, chance of evading physical attack, I think it's 5%. So if you guys are trying to build a 100% evade tank and you're missing a little bit of percentages, right here, Accelerate could be pretty good. Then Twin Spell, uh, not that crazy, but like I said, if you guys are starting the game, 
uh, they're good stuff to get just that 5% uh, MP and that 10% magic can be pretty pretty good then you can exchange for items such as rare summon tickets 5 star trust moogle so 10% and uh, talk to the king mog for more information kupo you are gonna fight the duplicorn so the way it works uh, the way it works you can fight it or if you can't fight it uh, let's say your team is not strong enough well you can just escape or smoke and get out of the fight you're not getting the full amount of uh, phantoma but you are able to keep going into the fight so character bonuses right here if you have seven star ace you'll get 200 percent bonus if you have a six star ace 100 percent if you have seven as a six star she's going to be 75 percent up then you got the boy jack and trey if you guys have plenty of jack is uh tm is actually really really good it helps build up that limit uh lemon burst a little bit faster so he's not that bad so yeah Academia coming back. Uh, I'm not mad since uh, you guys uh, were gonna be able to farm for some tickets But also if uh, the older players don't want to buy the stuff Well, you can stop farming a little bit faster and really focus on uh, the chamber of arms chamber of the fallen and all that good stuff To try to keep up a little bit more with the game then We're also gonna get a featured summon Which is gonna be not bad not bad at all. It's gonna work up with a step up so on step one for 3000 lapis uh, you're going to be guaranteed a gold which is not that bad it would have been fun to be guaranteed a rainbow uh but uh you know for 3000 lapis if you guys want to go through it you can go for it then on step two you're gonna have a drop rates of two of times two so basically you have a six percent chance to get a rainbow and uh, you're going to be guaranteed a 10 percent moogle so if you guys have the lapis for it go for that and on step three you're guaranteed a five star unit so basically for five uh, for 13,000 Lapis, you might be guaranteed one 5-star unit. You don't know which one, but you're going to be guaranteed a 5-star unit. So it's limited one to uh, once per player. So basically, you can do all these three steps, bam, 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 once, and that's it. You're done. Then we're going to have attack types banner. So on Friday, the 30th, all the way up to Sunday, uh, December 2nd. You guys are going to be able to summon for heal, squall, malfazy. So that's the attack type number one. And attack type number two, basically you guys are going to be able to summon for Roberta, Aloha, Laswell, and Orlando. Which, uh, let's be honest, this banner is a little bit underwhelming. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already have your uh, seven star Orlando. I don't, but it doesn't matter since uh, there's other good physical damage dealers in the game. Uh... But yeah, this banner, uh, not that great. This one is good. So if you guys are missing some of these units, especially if you're missing your heal or uh, even Malfazy because she's really, really strong. Uh, Squall is actually really, really good. I like Squall. Uh, it sucks. Not a lot of people are putting him in uh, their friends, but uh, Squall is actually pretty, pretty good. So uh, this banner is a little bit underwhelming, but uh, whatever. If you guys are missing some of the units and you want to go for it, go for it. But or else, I will tell you guys, this is a trap banner don't go in because uh, cgc chart must be really really close to us so just take that in note then on the second banner it's gonna be magic tank slash tank sorry type so you guys are gonna be able to pull for renoa uh cersei or mr awaken rain so if i'm not mistaken they're gonna have a higher chance of pulling these guys so it's gonna start on sunday december 12th uh, December 12th Sunday December 2nd all the way up to Tuesday December 4th you guys are gonna have a higher chance to pull these units that support type and uh, healer type you guys will be able to pull for Zargabath Ayaka and Lauren glorious Lauren Zargabath is actually really really good as a seven star guys and Ayaka do I really have to tell you how, how good so uh, if I would be you guys and you want to pull on a banner uh, depending on what you need, I think this is the best banner you can get right here. Just because Zargabat is amazing buffer. Uh, Yaka's best healer. Like, there's no fight for it. And uh, Lauren, arguably the best breaker. Uh, she's able to uh, imperil also. And uh, her breaks are really strong and super fast to get. So this is basically the best banner. So if you guys have 13,000 Lapis to spend, uh, I would do it on this banner. But other than that, it's your choice. Uh, the other banners, it's a trap banner, you don't go for it. Like I said, CG Siege Art is really, really close to being released. And uh, just keep that lapis and those tickets as much as possible if you need to. And uh, that's it for the step up. 
we're gonna go right here so one more thing uh the story continues like i said i'm not gonna go down i don't like going down because once it's uh spoiled something for me so we're not gonna go down so the story continues uh chapter five part two on the second season guys like i said if you guys never played the story and you're not far into the story go for it because the story is getting really really good so this is uh this is gonna be on thursday after maintenance so if you guys want to continue the story go for it and get some more lapis also the last thing we're gonna get right here three star esper fight you guys will be able to fight leviathan and uh as i remember seeing a video from uh what's his name yeah the boy evil laughter i saw a video once and he was fighting in uh, the japanese version the three star version of uh leviathan and that fight looked really really hard uh so guys be ready because this fight is not going to be that easy he's going to be able to do a lot of magic damage uh make sure that your water resistance is up and pretty much uh, everything is up because he's going to be one hell of a fight so it's going to be nice and interesting so this is for the news guys uh, are you guys excited for the story? I am, because it's going to be a little bit more stuff to play. Actually, the AF energy is really, really good. And it's good that they brought the Acad uh, Academia Type-0 event, because it's going to slow down the game a little bit. It's going to allow us to, you know, play a little bit more of the story, uh, do the raids, do the bosses, and people that need to farm Academia, they can farm nice and in peace so guys thank you so much for watching this video like i said at the beginning if you guys are new to this channel please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace